my name is Mark. Um, and I want to apologise in advance, but I'm going to inflict some maths on you tonight. Uh, it's fairly simple, and it's very useful if you're doing any sort of project work. Uh, so hopefully it'll be worth your while. The idea I'm going to talk about is called earned value management, and it comes from kind of classic um, big M management. Like a lot of these ideas, uh, it's evolved out of the engineering and construction industries, but is also really applicable to a te any technology or software project. So what I'm going to do is tell you a story, and hopefully it's a story that you're all quite familiar with. Uh, the story is going to be about Bob. Bob's a kick-ass web developer um, who also has a talent for design. And one day, Bob gets a client calling him up saying they need a website. So Bob looks at uh, the brief for the website, and he estimates that the project is going to take five days. Uh, at his day rate of $2,000 a day, it's going to cost about $10,000. The client says, go ahead. And so on Monday, he starts work. He spends the day creating some wireframes, and by the late afternoon, he's nailed some really good interactions. And being a web developer, he takes himself off to the pub to shout himself a beer. The project continues on. He works through Tuesday, Wednesday. But by Thursday, he starts to get a little bit nervous. He puts down his tools, and he looks at how he's actually tracking against his project and realizes that he's only about 50% complete. And with this familiar sinking feeling, he proceeds to work through Friday, Saturday. And somewhat exhausted on Sunday, he wraps up his project and hands it over to his client. So how can this be avoided? This is where earned value management comes in. Let's rewind the story and start again on Monday and look at how it could have played out a little bit differently. So Monday evening, Bob puts down his tools, and before going to the pub, he has a look at his progress and realizes he's about 10% complete. This means that he has an earned value of $1,000, or 10% of his total project budget. However, Bob also knows that with his day rate of $2,000, he's basically cost himself $2,000. Using this formula, we can look at his performance on this project so far. So earned value divided by the cost gives him his performance. We just divide $1,000 by $2,000, we get a performance index of about 0.5. This is quite ugly. Uh, he's basically cost himself $1,000 by not making the progress through the project that he should have. Another thing that earned value management gives us is this other formula, which allows him to forecast the total project, project cost based on his performance so far. So the project budget divided by his performance, which is 0.5, tells him that at his current rate, it's going to cost him $20,000 worth of work to actually complete this project. So Tuesday comes around, and Bob's feeling a little bit bummed. But he knuckles down and says, you know, these wireframes are as good as they're getting. Let's move on through the design and into the front end development. Every day, he spends a bit of time going through his own value management uh, calculations. And by Wednesday, it looks something like this. His project is now 50% complete. That means that his earned value is $5,000. But his actual cost is $6,000 because he's done three days of work. So looking at this formula again, we can see that he's now got a performance of 0.833. And looking at the forecast, I'm sorry, jumped ahead on me. It's now going to cost him $12,000. So while he's still behind, uh, he's made some, he's caught up and he's uh, not quite as far behind as he was before. So he knuckles down on Thursday and Friday as well. And on Friday evening, working a little bit late, he manages to wrap up the project. But that means that he can spend the rest of his weekend drinking. So what did we learn out of all of this? EVM let Bob track his progress. It let him predict his total cost as he was moving through the project. And by doing that, he was able to avoid any surprises late on in the project. There are a lot of methods that will give you this sort of information. Agile burn down charts might be one that you're familiar with. But the beauty of EVM is that it scales. It can be done 
on a single task or a simple project like this, or it can be done across a multi-million dollar project with lots of streams of activity. It can also be done at any time, on a single task or on a stage of a project, or on the project as a whole. And that is why I think it's a very useful idea. Thank you.